are watching Gears. Hey, welcome to Gears. You know, anytime you see an engine and a transmission hanging on a hoist and a chassis somewhere in the vicinity, well, that's a pretty good assumption that they go together. And in this case, you'd be right. These two do go together. But if you're wondering what body goes down on this combination, well, we need to bring you up to speed on what we're doing. Check it out. The 100th anniversary of any company is a big deal, but for Cornwell Tools, it went beyond that. Since their tools have been used in the building and the maintenance of millions of vehicles over the last 100 years, it was only fitting to tie them in with one of the most technologically advanced vehicles ever built, the SR-71 Blackbird. Conceived by Lockheed Martin in the late 50s and put into service in the early 60s, the Blackbird was a mechanical marvel that to this day has never been equal. Now, since there is no question that some of the crews that worked on the SR-71 used Cornwell tools, I figured the best way to recognize that is to build the SR-71 Rapid Tool Express, the world's fastest tool delivery truck, and do it out of a 59 Ford panel. Then the replacement of the stock chassis with a new Roadster Shop chassis. And finally, the introduction of the new John Cossey SR71 engine and heads that pushed a big block Ford to over a thousand horsepower on pump gas. But thanks to the help of a blower shop 871 Huffer, and a Scott slot injection. Now, since we have the drive shaft in place, we're ready to move on to the exhaust. And on a project like this, it's gonna have to look good, and it's gonna have to flow like a mother to keep up with this supercharger. So we hooked up with our buddies at Stainless Works, and they got busy. Since high quality stainless steel headers are a specialty at Stainless Works, the first thing they did was craft a set of headers for these new John Cossey SR71 heads. Now, usually the idea behind headers is to tuck them down between the engine and the frame and then run the exhaust down through the center of the frame. The problem is on a chassis like this, there's not a lot of room here, especially once you get the starter in and the cross members and the steering and the pedals and all that stuff. Fortunately, on these old Fords, you don't have to run the exhaust down through the center. You can run it on the outside of the frame rails because the body hangs low enough on the sides that you'll never see it. So, Stainless Works built the headers to exit through the truck inner fender and outside the frame rail. Next comes an intermediate pipe in three inch tubing along with the high flowing mufflers. V clamps were used throughout to prevent any leakage and provide easy disassembly. The next challenge was to get the exhaust pipe back between the frame rails so it would clear the rear tires and create the proper exit out the back. So according to my directions, Stainless Works routed the pipe around the four link bracket and then tailpipes were run over the rear end, around the fuel tank and out the back. Finally, the exhaust will exit through the roll pan in the body with polished stainless steel tips. And you can imagine what that engine is gonna sound like through a three inch pipe. Now, as far as the final finish on the exhaust system, you have a couple choices here. It's stainless steel, so you can brush it, or you can polish it, or you can put on a high temperature coating, which is what we're gonna do. But first, I'm gonna grab a grinder here, and I'm gonna finesse the pipes down and get rid of any burrs or welds or bending marks that I don't like. Then we'll take it apart, ship it to Jet Hot, and have them put on a cool coating. <laughs> 